85 and a 55, attempting to flee a scene, resisting arrest. You're in a heap of trouble, Mr. Vega. Looks that way, sir. You land viewers, all alike. Think you can run roughshod over us yokels here in Cherry Vale, huh? We can't let that happen, Chief. So what should we do with this big city punk? Well, why don't you let me teach him a small town lesson? You've got to be kidding me. You'll speak when spoken to, punk. So, what do you have in mind for him, Saeed? Well, if we have him on the side of the road scooping up garbage and roadkill, he won't want to mess with Cherry Vale again. Might work. And honestly, I'd like to personally oversee his service. By the time I'm finished with Mr. Vega, He'll know exactly what's in store for him if he ever visits Cherry Vale again. Vega! Uh, just in time, I see. Finish? No worries, boss. I'll get you out of this. Fish? What are you doing here? Uh, Officer Oliver from the commissioner to bail you out. You told Bo? Bo, as in Buchanan? As in? As in Buchanan? As in? Saeed, you know these guys? Um, do I know you? Not before yesterday. Uh, but... The fish! Uh, Go home. I, I've got this one. Sorry, but no can do. The commissioner said to come back with you or not at all, detective. You're a cop? Yeah, head of vice squad and my partner. Supervisor. And you don't know him? Big department. I don't exactly know what's going on here, sir, but the commissioner would consider it a personal favor. Um, Chief, should we really let this guy off just because he's a cop? Uh, but the future relationship of our communities depends on it. Can't you just look the other way? Cut him loose. But don't let me catch you in this town again. What's the hold up out here? Oh, the, the computer kept freezing on me. Not to worry, Chief. I know these old junkers. I should have Detective Vega's release for him in no time flat. You could learn a thing or two from this kid. So much for your awesome plan. Yeah. And now both our bosses are on to us. And you're officially banned from Cherryvale. Maybe we're just not meant to be. What, what do you, I mean, we're just supposed to call it quits before we even get started? Well, I don't want to. But when all of the cosmic forces seem to be waging a full-on attack against us... What the, what the hell was that? End of the Cherry Vale PD's computer system. What there was of it. What did you do to it? You know what? It, it's been making funny sounds all week. Can it be saved? Uh, with the right parts, maybe. And the committed work of one smart techie. Gee, I wonder where, where, where we'll find a guy like that. Yeah. I wonder. Stars at the diner getting something to eat, thank God. She's been all over me lately. I know, she's been calling and texting me like 24-7, asking like a whole lot of questions. Think she's on to us? I hope not. Oh, and I gave Marco the heads up, so hopefully he can keep her busy long enough for us to get Dorian's help. Man, I can't wait for this party to be finally over and done with. Then we can stop sneaking around. Yeah. Finally. Hey, I'm sorry I couldn't drop these off myself, but we're just mad overloaded today. Really? You don't look too busy to me. Well, yeah, you know, um, take out, or call in, you know. Right. Well, at least this gives us a little time to talk. We never really get to talk, just the two of us. Yeah, did we ever talk? Just the two of us? Well, maybe we should start. Um, have Lincoln and Cole been lying to you like they have to me? So you haven't noticed anything weird between Langston and Cole lately? Langston's always weird. I'd notice if she was normal. What about the lying? The lying. Oh, 
come on, you haven't noticed? Well, they must be doing a pretty good job because, no. Do you know that they've been hanging out together all the time? Well, they're in that, uh, that group grief thing, right? No, Marco, that's not what I'm talking about. Like, for instance, the other day, I wanted to hang out with the both of them, and they said that they were both too busy because they were hanging out with you. And here, they were lying, and they went and hung out with each other alone. You must have gotten your signals crossed or something. I'm... No, Marco, I didn't. Why would they lie to you? Are you really that clueless? Oh, wait, wait, wait. You don't think they're hooking up, do you? Do you? No, 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 Addy, you, you can't go upstairs. Why not? Your friend Charlie must be out of bed by now. Well, oh, <laughs> Langston. Hi, uh, we've been waiting for you all morning. Cole, Star is not here. No, I know, Langston told me. Why are you so hell-bent on keeping me out of Charlie's room? I'm not. You have dibs on him or something? <laughs> no, no. Then what's the problem? I was just being friendly. I, I, I promise not to flash him this time, okay? <sighs> Addie, sweetheart, I just don't want you to be hurt. What? You think I couldn't land Charlie if I wanted to? <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. What have you got that I haven't got? I think Charlie wants something that neither one of us has. And what is that? Vicky? Maybe we should go. Uh, yeah, we don't want to be late for group. Fine, there are things that I have to handle anyway. Okay. Cole? I'll tell Star that you stop by. All right, I'll call later. So Vicky's run off with Charlie, huh? She sure doesn't waste time. I've been living here long enough to know when Dory's approaching meltdown. Not the best time to ask her for money. All right. So we come back when she's cooled off. Yeah, if we can get her alone. Uh-huh. Uh, we also have to think about another way to keep Star off our trail, just in case you... Just in case what, Colin? You know, I'm really trying not to jump to any conclusions here, but you're making it tough for me, both of you. What do you mean? It looks like you're sneaking behind Star's back. And I told her, you know what, Star, there's no way that's happening because they're your best friends and they love you and they would never hurt you. Now, are you making a liar out of me? Cole and Langston together. Yeah, it's crazy, right? I trust Langston. So should you and Cole, too. Well, then why are they both lying to me? It's probably just what happened with their parents. Well, yeah, I mean, it has to be. But at the same time, aren't you just a little mad that Langston can talk to Cole and not you? It took her a year to come clean about what happened with her parents. It's going to take her a while to get into it with anyone. Except Cole. Star, don't get too inside your head. Or you're going to drive yourself crazy. Okay. Thank you for talking me off the ledge. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Star thinks Langston and I are hooking up. With each other? Are you? No. no. Well, then what's going on here? She thinks you're lying. You say one thing, and then you end up doing another, and you end up together. What's going on? Not for that. Well, then what, Langston? We're planning a surprise party for her. I'm just gonna ask Dorian for her help, that's all. Yes, it's Rex. Don't you worry about Rex. So you're gonna keep it a secret? Star won't hear anything from me. Okay. Star! Hi. What did I miss? Cole just wanted to surprise you before he and Langston headed off to their group session. I was hoping you'd get back before I had to leave, but... But you have to go. Right. <laughs> Well, that's fine. Um, I'll see you later then. Absolutely. And, you know, maybe we can do something, go to the mall or something. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Well, um, sorry I was late. I'm gonna go get Sweetie, this sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Listen, I know what you think is going on, but I promise you, nothing is going on between Langston and Cole. I'm sure of it. Well, that's what everybody keeps telling me. 